Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl. So today I wanted to do a review for y'all. Uh, if you guys look uh, uh, at my review about some time ago when I built uh, my computer that I called it Cyber Demon, I built it um, with Doom in mind. Even before the the Doom 2016 came out, I, I always loved Doom, so I always you know I built an entire computer dedicated uh, to Doom. And uh, ooh, no uh, focus here. Let me put it on auto focus here. And uh, what happened was after, you know, I used the same power supply. Usually when I build a computer, I like to start everything new. But I had a choice to make between a powerful graphics card or, you know, or, or uh, average, uh, you know, graphics card. And I wanted to go, you know, much more. So I saved money. I did, you know, I, I used the same um, power supply. And I'm going to tell you, that power supply is by Thermaltake, and I did a review on that, and it's incredible. Lasted me for a good amount, about eight years, uh, so it did really, really well for me, um, but, uh, you know, now it's it, it died. So, I obviously, I have to replace it. Now, the average lifespan of a power supply, they usually say anywhere from three to four years. Uh, the truth of the matter is, based on my averages of all the clients that I built computers for, it's about five years. That's the average. Some of them go longer. So I needed to go and look for another power supply. A major power supply that I used on a client's computer about five to six years ago when I built it was by EVGA. Okay, so I wanted to give it a shot because I saw how awesome it was. And really, it was cheap. Uh, it was uh, about $300. And unlike the 1200 watt, which apparently right now, for some odd reason, everywhere you look for a thousand watt and higher or 1200 watts and higher, they're all sold out. So I found it on B&H and uh, I went and got me this. So it came to me within about uh, two days uh, shipping free, which B&H uh, is extremely fast. And it came to me, you know, very well packaged. And this is it right here. And I want you guys to know that it is not 1,200, but 1,300 watts. Now, when do you need this kind of wattage? Well, if you're using just a very basic computer with about two hard drives, a graphics card, 800 watts should be more than enough. The thing is, as you know, I have like a giant tower that I built with multiple hard drives. You know, two-way SLI. I didn't do three-way, but two-way, which is more than enough for me. Uh, and it just is a beast that sucks a lot of power. And because of that, for me, let's say 500 watt wouldn't be good. 800 watt wouldn't be good. I'd have freezing. I'd have all kinds of things. So if you guys ever have freeze-ups, it could be also a conflict in the drivers. So you guys have to look at that. But if you're, your computer is shutting down for no reason over and over again, most likely we're talking here the power supply, okay? So that's how you would be able to gauge if it's a power supply issue or not. Sometimes if it gets stuck a lot of times, if it shuts off or whatever, it doesn't necessarily mean always that your power supply is going bad. It probably means you just need a higher wattage, okay? I always recommend to every client that I build for, even when it's a simple computer, I tell them a 1,000 watt just to be on the safe side, okay? But for me, 1,200 watt is what I wanted. Uh, unfortunately, it was sold out everywhere, but fortunately, actually, it was sold out. Because I went ahead and looked it up and found this on B&H, 1300 watt. And I mean, it's by EVGA, which I obviously love. And we're going to go right into that, okay? So obviously, I can tell you right off the bat how good uh, this company is. Uh, they have a great kick-ass 10-year warranty on this, a guarantee. So if anything happens wrong, you could just send it back, really, no questions asked or anything. You just send it back and you get a new one. Um... So, I mean, for somebody to put their, you know, uh, their, uh, you know, faith in their product like that, it's incredible, especially when the average lifespan is about five years, uh, give or take. Uh, it's 80 plus gold certified. So I'm going to show you guys here right now. Ooh, there's no um, ugh, lights. I'm sorry, guys, because my computer is not working right now. I don't have any of the stuff. I'm going to go actually right into it, so I'm going to show you uh, how it is from here. So give me one second. Okay, guys, so you see, this is what it is. 1,300 watt gold, uh, gold power supply, uh, 80 plus gold certified, okay? So now give me a sec. Now we're going back into this from the back, so you guys could see it. I know a lot of you guys said you like that I do this. 
because you don't have the box in front of you guys and you want to see the way it looks and no problem i cater to anything you guys uh <clears throat> recommend so now what i like about this also it's that it's fully modular now my thermal take what happened was the 24 pin was already put in and of course the cpu pins were already put in that's that you can't remove out now i like to have it totally modular because sometimes with a power supply you might have a faulty wire wire that doesn't work right or something like that it's always good to have extra wires and so on and so forth it's just better to have it fully modular so that also you can position it the way you want for example i have a way as you can see here to tuck wires behind now obviously this doesn't look good right now but normally all of my wires go behind the case you see how i, how I have it over there so I, I i just cleaned it out so i'm gonna be doing that pretty much and uh that's pretty much what it is so it, it's just easier to maneuver uh in a way that that that's right that you like you know instead of being you know tied down to a hard drive and so on and so forth so now we're gonna go into let me just see if anything here is different on the sides really nothing i mean here we got a handle which is pretty cool uh plastic handle uh so it's pretty awesome very high quality so anyways let's go right into it okay so we're gonna go right into this baby right now and uh let's check it out now the reason why i'm being careful with this box and i'll tell you exactly why is because just in case a uh, B&H has a no nonsense, you know, money back guarantee and everything. But in case something goes wrong, which all the time in computers, sometimes you get faulty parts. I like to always get my, when I know uh, certain things, especially like power supplies or uh, memory chips, I always like to keep the boxes really tidy so you won't see me ripping it like a beast like I usually do. So already you see there's foam everywhere wow look at this presentation guys oh my god i should have had this look at this you got a bag a cloth bag see here this right here and this are holding the hard drive together um uh sponges Oof, look at this this is amazing okay so we're gonna go right into it right now let me just get some uh <laughs> so we got this so it could store our wires that we have any excess wires so it's velcro a velcro bag pretty awesome isn't it it's incredible so a velcro bag we have here we have here the motherboard oh let me just count this here two four six eight oh let me see Wait. okay oh somebody's calling me here so we got the motherboard um attachment let me see here and it goes from 18 to 24 right yeah 18 to 24 and you could connect them together and make it look good i always like it when it's just one but whatever gives you more freedom if you want to use it for another one uh we have here some uh vga cables uh right there oh also oh god i don't know why they're calling me now uh we have a power supply uh you know uh Wire. Got wire right here. We have... Oop. I'm like terrified here. Uh, these ones are for SATA. SATA cables. So this is pretty cool. Obviously you're going to get a ton of them. Uh, another pair of SATA cables. Which is pretty cool. I like that because I have a lot of hard drives. More SATA cables. Really cool. I am loving it. More uh, Another pair of VG, uh, VGA. Uh, let's see here. This is for power. All right. Just regular power, uh, you know, for your uh, uh, CD player or DVD player or Blu-ray player or whatever you got going on over there. Um, more of these powers. Uh, let's see here. I love how it comes in this thing. Oh, what is that? Oh, wow. For cable management, these Velcro strips. Really cool really liking it this one right here i'm gonna take a look at uh so we got a cpu uh cpu uh wiring vga wiring more power adapters for regular uh cpu another another one if you have i guess two 
VGA, another one. Wow, they, they, they really hook you up here. Another SATA cable uh, port. So you actually get doubles and triples and all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just like throwing it in here. All the... <laughs> All the wiring here is insanity so uh, it's pretty awesome now we're gonna go into the power supply in a moment but I wanna oh wow look at that there's another cloth bag here I gotta see what the hell this is oh my god tell me how cool this is oh, look at this I, let me just move this out of the way before it starts spilling everywhere let me just get this and this. So guys, there's the sponge. Oh, there's the sponge. And right here is the booklet. And it comes in a cloth bag. So, I mean, I don't know how this could be uh, come to you bad. By any, see, with Velcro, how it could come to you bad at all. <laughs> but uh, this is pretty darn awesome. I really like this. If it does come bad, I mean, you could always return it. Now, look at this. Fully modular, guys. How awesome is that? Not partially modular, but fully modular. Obviously, a giant fan over here in the bottom, as most of mine have. Uh, now, I know there's an RGB one, but I really don't care about that because my entire unit here lights up red. <coughs> so, that's that. Uh, let me just put that aside here for a second. All right. Now, we're going to look at this. Aha, okay, I see. So this baby is an adapter. Let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. For the 24, so you're basically putting it in here. Oh, ah, I don't know how to move this. I'm going to need like thicker nails or something to grow. Anyways, it's an adapter, so you could put those two wire, uh, two groups, the 18 and the other one, together. And then it becomes one whole unit, which I really like because all my other um, um, power supplies, you have to just, it kind of connects, which this does, this does too. But then you press it in. I never like that. I always like to have like a little bit of uh, freedom. Damn, but this thing is rough. Ah, there you go. So there you go. The adapter, <laughs> it's like cracked my teeth on that thing. And then uh, you just put it in. Boom. So this is pretty freaking, pretty cool and very useful. I really like that they have that. Anyway, so this one I actually, like I said, I used a little bit less powered one on my friend's PC uh, that I built for him and on one of my clients. And it it's still going. So I know this is a great, great power supply. And I know a lot of you guys wrote to me on my other thing. What power supplies do I recommend? Thermaltake is amazing, but EVGA is incredible. And now if you look at it, I prefer, I mean, you don't have to do this, but um, I prefer a fully modular one. If you are to get one, get a fully modular one. I think that you guys will not regret it if you do it that way. Uh, now, this thing is going in the bottom so I like to make it upside down, which is probably not the most ideal thing. Uh, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. It just has to be that way because that's how, it, unless it's all the way in the top, that would be something else. But uh, I don't have my uh, unit designed like that. So uh, that's the way it is. But I really rate this company. I really love it. I love their warranty. I love the guarantee. I love all of the stuff about it. I just don't see how you can lose out of it at th uh, 300 bucks, two, uh, 99 99 right now on B&H. Uh, and I know that they're sold out. I just tried to order another one and it said already sold out. So just wait till it's back in stock and then purchase it again, either from B&H or from wherever you can get it. But this is just incredible. I highly recommend it. If I had to put a rating, I mean, I didn't put this in my system, but in other people's system, I could definitely rate it a nine out of ten, uh, because those were partially thing, uh, partially uh, modular. This is fully modular. So because of that, I, I know this is going to be a ten out of ten. But as always, I give you guys honesty, and due to honesty, I did not put this in my computer and had it long enough running, like maybe in. 10 years or whenever this fails, I'll do a review and let you know about it. But uh, the thermal take one that I reviewed right now, after eight years, I can tell you it was working great and now it just shut off. So definitely that was a, I would say nine out of 10 because it was partially modular as well. But this, I really love. This is everything I wanted. And especially that they include a adapter, which I'm sure now most probably do right now because I haven't, you know, 
But every one I purchased for my friends never had an adapter, so I don't know. It just connected and just goes in. So everybody that I've done, uh, any client I worked for, I mean, it is what it is. So um, I really love the fact that there's so many connections, so many wires. The presentation, the fact that it comes in a cloth bag with foam, the fact that it includes a baggie, for uh, which the thermal take did as well, a baggie for your all your extra uh, wires and stuff is incredible. And it has cable management wires, I mean uh, uh, strips, which I really like because I'm a big fan of that. When my computer is built, uh, when, I, when I'm going to put it all back together again, you won't even see wires here because I tuck them in the back. So I really like it. I usually use those, uh, you know, where the hell is that thing? Um, I don't have it. Oh, here we go. I usually we use these zip ties, but now I don't have to anymore. I could just use it right away and, uh, you know, with the Velcro strips. And it's cool because it could come off and you don't have to cut them out and put it on again. And for some reason, every time I use scissors, I'm terrified because some of these wires are so freaking fragile. It just terrifies the crap out of me. So I like having that as an option. And, of course, this adapter, I really think that's so cool and nifty. Uh, I'm, you know... I highly recommend you guys get this, and with a 10-year money-back, uh, you know, uh, warranty, I mean, you know, you got nothing to lose. So, guys, correction, it does include a 24, but I guess the, you have another one. See here, the motherboard here, that doesn't, uh, that goes right into there. So, you get two wires of these. I guess one that's 18 and 24 that you connect together, and one that's a solid 24. I have no idea why they did that. So that's that's all I got to say about that. Anyways, let me know what you think down below. As always, guys, I give you guys honest reviews. I don't uh, ask for Patreon services or anything like that, as I always say in my videos. I don't do that because I don't, even though I, I love you guys for recommending that, I don't do that because then I feel like I owe people something. Like most of these YouTubers, they get funding from other people and they tell you things are good when it's not. I'm not like that. Uh, I give you truth because it comes out of my moolah. So the only thing I ask is that you make the channel grow, spread the word, like, uh, share, subscribe, and hit that bell button as many more videos to come covering an array of things as you can see on my channel. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.